Alright, thanks for watching and today we'll use epsilon and delta to show that the limit as x goes to 4 of square root of x equals 2. Now let me remind you what the epsilon delta definition says. It says that for all epsilon we can find some delta such that for all x if x minus 4 is less than delta in absolute value then square root of x minus 2 is less than epsilon. And as usual here's how we play. Given epsilon, we will find a delta such that eventually this is true. So let's start paradoxically with square root of x minus 2 is less than epsilon. Now let's consider the difference between square root of x and 2. And remember we want to show this is less than epsilon. Now let's use a neat little trick which was also very useful for uh, limits uh, with square roots. Namely let's multiply this quantity by the conjugate. So let's multiply this by square root of x plus 2 and square root of x plus 2. And that's not a problem because this is just 1. So you're just multiplying this by 1. And then the numerator Let's just split it up, square root of x minus 2 times square root of x plus 2, and the denominator is just square root of x plus 2. Now, notice this is of the form a minus b times a plus b, which is just a squared minus b squared, whereas the denominator is positive. It is bigger than or equal to 2, so in fact, we can remove the absolute value here. Now, here's the miracle. If you do square root of x squared, you get x. And if you do 2 squared, you get 4, which is precisely the stuff that we can control. It's the stuff that's less than delta. The only pesky thing here is this square root of x. So ideally, we want to get rid of it. But remember, square root of x plus 2 is bigger than 2. So 1 over it it's smaller than one half. Or in other words, here you're adding a positive number, so for sure this fraction is less than the stuff without that number. Like um, one third, which is one over three plus two, one plus two is less than one half, for instance. So this becomes at least less than or equal to x minus four divided by two, and remember, you want to set this less than epsilon, which finally gives us a delta. So x minus 4 is less than 2 epsilon. So we found Nemo, and now we can attack. So here's our proof. All right, so let epsilon be given, and let delta be the stuff that we just found, namely 2 epsilon. Then, if x minus 4 is less than delta, and also strictly speaking x cannot be 4, because for limits we don't care exactly what happens at that number, then from what we had before, square root of x minus 2 became absolute value of x minus 4 over square root of x plus 2. So that was after this multiplying by the conjugate. But now remember, this is less than or equal to x minus 4 over 2. But now this is less than delta, so less than 2 epsilon over 2, and we get our satisfying epsilon. Therefore, if epsilon is given, and if delta is 2 epsilon, then if x minus 4 is less than delta, then square root of x minus 2 is less than epsilon. And therefore the limit has been proven, and we can stay home happy. Alright, if you like this and want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.